I forgot a step. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and join the vibe. So today I'm going to be doing a get, why do I always move my hands so much, oh my god. So today, <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, I feel like I have not sat down and done a get ready with me in so long, so, 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 so long. And here we are. So I really don't know what direction this look is going, but I have a bomb wig. The color eats and it's giving fall. So it's going to be like a fall get ready with me. So I'm really excited. Um, what else did I want to say? If you guys hear this, my fan's on because it's hot in here. Okay, so sorry about that. But I'm not going to talk too much while I'm doing this wig install because um, I feel like I kind of lost my touch with the wig, so I need to focus. But I am going to tell you guys, oh my god, some goodies. So this wig is from RPG Show, and they always give you a little card with all the information. The name of this wig is Sophia, the, the wig stylist 011. It is a silky texture. It's 20 inches, and it's 200% density. It has a 13 by 6 with some Swiss lace. Y'all know I love Swiss lace. I don't know what it is about the Swiss lace, but I like low-key like it better than the HD. Ugh, I always say that, but yeah. But this is the wig, you guys. Custom color. It's like this like chestnutty, gingery. Like it's not just like that flat, one-dimensional ginger. Like this is so pretty and it does have a darker root, like slightly like a darker brown type of root. I really like this. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take my time and do this install. I'm probably gonna do a middle part and some nice curls I just want to get volume and layers so yeah that's what I'm gonna do again look at the color you guys it came just like this I did not have to bleach the knots or anything it looks really really good so yeah I really like this I'm excited and I haven't really been wearing wigs that's really why you guys haven't seen like a get ready with me type of situation um, I've been on my quick weave um, thing but I love wigs for color specifically because like you don't have to worry about your leave out matching all this like I love that so I'm kind of excited what's this oh they said oh they sent a lot of goodies so anyways I'm gonna get into this wig install okay check the description box for all the information if you want the tea on this wig and sit back and enjoy
that's why I was struggling a little bit because it's just been a while guys I just it's just been a while but I think it's gonna turn out great the quality of the hair amazing it's curling how I want so I feel like I feel like we're here but I'm gonna do my makeup while my hair sets and then we're gonna take it out normally I take my hair down and show you guys and move on to the makeup but I just want it to like hold a little bit and then we'll move forward and I'm still melting my lace. So I'm gonna show you guys like my current makeup look, some of my faves, maybe some new products. I'm just gonna have fun with this. Um, I've really been liking my makeup lately. I think my skin has something to do with it. Your girl's glowing. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. It's gonna be fallish though, but my regular look isn't really far from a fall look, so yeah. Um, but I've been starting with my brows and I've been doing my brows a little bit differently. Um, this is the Rare Beauty um brow gel like do you guys see what it's doing to my brows obviously you can leave your brows just up but my brow hairs are kind of long and i i don't want my brows to be like too too thick like i like the thickness of my brow but i don't think they need to be um going straight up it looks good on a lot of people that's not for me honey so um i'm gonna go ahead and carve the bottom out so a lot of people always tell me like the brow gel doesn't work for them and all that the trick is you have to just let the brow gel dry before um, applying your pencil or anything like that and I suggest using the brow gel before the pencil there's I mean you can do it any way you want but that's just my suggestion so while my brows are drying I am gonna carve the bottom out and that just helps me keep the most natural shape of my brow possible and not fill it in as much because you guys are literally gonna see my brows transform as I do this like it just looks like you got a fresh brow lift brow wax or something so just carve your natural shape out this concealer is a little too light but it's okay and can you guys see the difference already in the brow look at what concealer did to your natural brow so if it looks like this already with just concealer imagine i don't have to overfill my brows and even if you don't have full brows, this technique works really well. I do this on clients as well. And it just helps me see the shape of their natural brow. Unless they request otherwise, of course. But this is just so much easier. I just never, I've never really liked an overbrow, an uh, overdone brow. We all had our phase with the like 2016 brow. But for me personally, that was very short lived. Like I've just never been somebody that took forever on their brows or like really cared that much like even when my brows was in its worst state i just never really cared that much let the brow gel dry like a full minute at least a full minute because it is going to be a little tacky and you don't want your brow pencil skipping when you go in to fill your brow so i will suggest doing your brows before you put any other complexion stuff on because you don't want to be like wiping away your makeup with the with the brow gel if that makes any sense taking my benefit brow pencil this is actually the travel size one because i ran out of my other one and i'm gonna just use this until this runs out okay um but i'm just filling in my brows and what i like to do is really just do light strokes so in the front i will actually flick it up and that's something i never really did like i know that's a thing but like that wasn't my thing so i'll just naturally kind of flick it upwards and follow the natural shape of the brow. So we already gelled it down, so you can literally see the direction of your hairs and just follow that and fill in any gaps. And that's all that I do. Sometimes I'll do like a line at the top to really define the brow, but that is about it. That's where I'm at with my brows right now. And I really, really am liking it. It's not too much. It's not revolutionary either, but I just don't care to have a super overdone brow. And that's it, that's the brow. So that's the brow with the brow pencil and this is a brow without. So on my no makeup days, this works for me. Well, I'm trying to do a little sum sum, this is it. So for skin prep, I'm gonna be using my little travel size um, MAC Hyper Real things. So the first one is gonna be the serum. I really, really like this stuff on the skin. Like MAC has been doing its big one, especially when it comes to complexion. They're like, oh no, we're taking our crown back because you other brands have us messed up. And for primer, I'm just going to go on with my e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. These names be so long, y'all. My brain be like, Rrr. and I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to say to like my textured areas, but it ends up being everywhere. 
And for foundation, I'm gonna be using my MAC Studio Radiant Serum Power Foundation. I am in the shade NC50. I know somebody's gonna ask because I may not put it in the description box because y'all know how I get and or, and or you're not gonna read. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And I use about two pumps of that. You see that? It's really runny, but it's like serum-y. And I really love the finish that this gives my face. Like it's like natural, but it's still beat. This is my MAC Stay Over um, Fix Plus. Oh, not even running out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out. And that just helps my makeup last and gives me a little time to blend it in because I've like sprayed my face. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. I'm like, is this a Mac sponsored video? Mac, call me. <laughs> we can make some things happen. And if you ever feel like you need more coverage somewhere, I think I've told you guys this before, but you do not have to add a whole layer of foundation all over your face. Just add it to the areas that you need it and just blend it in. That's what keeps like the more natural look and keeps your makeup. And then I just like to take my sponge and just really press that in to make sure it's melted. This looks worse on camera than it is in person. Like it's like pretty bad, my hyperpigmentation, but like it's looking crazy on camera like I'm like what is going on it's making me want to add more foundation but when I look in the mirror I don't need to so so now I'm going to go into my NARS foundation Mwah. I've been loving these again I just love like that soft focus soft matte look that it gives like the center of my face like I like look radiant but like not it's, it's really complex but I love it um I use the shade Wanda and caramel Wanda highlights but it's still a little bright caramel really brings it up a notch so I do both of those. And I thought I stopped liking this concealer, but what it was, was that I really don't care for this concealer on a matte base because it's just too much matteness. It just like sits on top because it is a cream, it's like a pot cream kind of concealer. It just sits on the skin. When it's on a foundation like this, it really melts and sets and it just looks so good. So this is Walnut, it is brighter, but we like her, we like her, just gonna blend that out. And I know somebody's probably gonna ask as well, this is the Juno & Co sponge. It's like a microfiber sponge. I really, really like it because it doesn't absorb too much of your product and it helps you keep like the most coverage while blending out. So I really like that, especially with like this kind of texture. Sometimes a sponge can like lift the product up and I like this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know where I'm looking because my lights are brighter than usual or maybe because I haven't sat here in so long. Baby, I feel like I am like blinded. And when I add the second concealer, I don't add as much as I did the first time because I'm just trying to like amp it up. I'm not really aiming for coverage. I'm just wanting to get that bright under eye. And make sure you're just blending this out so it's nice and smooth. Of course, I'm using my one size powder and translucent and I just like to really press that in I don't do the whole baking thing I'm literally setting like why did we ever bake why was that ever a thing I'm going in with my good old Fenty powder this is in the shade 410 I don't use 420 in the powder but I use 420 in the liquid I don't know why I just do and I'm just gonna press this all over and I love this powder like I pretty much stick to my powders I don't like to switch them up too much because I feel like the powders really make or break you like the other stuff I can like finesse if it's like something goes wrong I can finesse it a little bit the powders your powder is your finishing step ultimately so if your powders are not right it's gonna mess up your whole face no matter what you did so lace be like stressing me out because like sometimes I want to put makeup on the lace but then sometimes that's a terrible idea so like where do we go from here like what do we do Oh, I forgot a step. I forgot to do liquid contour because I'm just moving so fast, but it's okay. So now I'm going in with my Pat McGrath bronzer. I've actually been using this a lot. Like I was underwhelmed with it at first, 
but like I really like it I guess since I keep using it I don't know and then I've been really into this kind of shade of blush this is like a brick type of color really really like this it's by Pat McGrath um, and it just has been giving me that more I guess it's just a fall thing because you guys know it's really on my like hot pink blush which ain't nothing wrong with that I'm still I'm, I'm gonna go back but this has just been really doing it for me and I like to kind of connect my blush to my eyes because like it all just becomes one like I don't like everything to be like blush contour highlight like I just like everything to just merge together but I cleaned up my house the other day I had like a bunch of stuff on my island you know how I get it gets crazy here okay so I'm like collecting stuff right and I literally have an Ulta bag full of just makeup skincare whatever else you could think of of stuff that I was so pressed to run out and go buy but haven't used so I'm about to go grab this eyeshadow palette okay so I went to Sephora a few weeks ago and I picked up Mario's makeup by Mario's new palette it basically looks like the original but with some shimmers so I really like that I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids that is too bright I picked up the wrong one and I'm just gonna blend it out I prefer to use a liquid concealer on my eye because it blends out better not the NARS you can but um, I guess I have to do a shimmery eye because I got this palette right Ugh. So naturally, I would love to go into this shade first and just go all in, but from what I learned from the first palette, things are a lot deeper than they seem. So I'm going to go in with this palette right here, and what I like about this is that they look like they're more true browns, like neutral browns. They're not super warm, um, which is something that I've been gravitating more towards. Um, only because like sometimes the warm can come off like too orange and like too done up when you have true browns it mimics a shadow and it just looks a lot more natural if you really are trying to achieve like a natural glam without like too many different shades I'm gonna take this shade just to see what it's giving because it might like tone it down a bit which it slightly did and I need to like swatch these I'm like really picky about shimmer shades um, but we're just gonna put it on the eyelids so I'm just gonna put that on and I'm not gonna add any base or anything I'm just gonna put that on oh that's pretty okay I'm not mad at it it's giving um, moon dust which is literally actually it's like literally the same it's right in front of me because I've been using moon dust like crazy you guys know my vibe messy eyeshadow all day every day so I'm going to go into an angle brush, and these have no names by the way, it literally is like EE1, EE2, EE3, so yeah. So I'm taking an angle brush and I'm going to take it on my lash line with the darkest brown and just start to smoke that out. I like that, I like that a lot. So I'm going to use this NYX liner, for some reason I have not been using like a black or a brown in the waterline. I've just been doing something nude and then adding some mascara and this reminds me I need a better pencil this one isn't really pigmented it works but it's just not the best but I really don't think it's for your eyes anyway so it like slightly just opens your eyes it's nothing crazy like I said it's not as pigmented as I would like but it works so then I'm gonna do my half liner and some lashes and I need to get really close and focused so I'm gonna be right back all my lashes dry I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip they look crazy right now guys but just give me a second okay I'm going in with chestnut by Mac first and I need to sharpen this then I'm going in with yash which is a nude the matte lip is actually giving like when I wear yash by itself it really gives and I'm gonna go on with NYX NYX whatever you want to call it fortune cookie butter gloss first this is my jam like Mind you, I was not a butter gloss girly, but this definitely did something for me. Perfection. And then I'm going to go on with this um, ABH lip gloss in Bubbly. It was a limited edition. I'm sure they have something similar. I'm actually going to check because I like this goldish, bronzish, but sheer gloss. And I just like to go on top and it just gives it that super glam look. Hair everywhere. I'm gonna go with this Pat McGrath um, under eye blurring whatever I've been liking this again um, that's good it does the same thing like what I've been doing which is like 
triple setting my under eye and brightening. I would typically use this, but it's like almost done and I don't like how it's spraying, so we're gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna go in with the Super Dewy Spray just to melt everything in and give it a more skin-like look. And then I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury just to lock everything in. Does it smell like that? <laughs> I guess I'm so used to my other sprays, I'm like Ugh. And lastly, some mascara. Just gonna push that up. This is a completed makeup look, it looks so good. This is basically how I've been wearing my makeup, give or take a few different products or products but this is basically how i've been doing my makeup i'll tell me why i started taking down the pink girls and was talking to myself oh the camera was off anyways <laughs> i'm taking down the pink girls you guys have seen this before now i'm gonna comb it and the comb out is the most important part if you would like more volume comb backwards like you know away from the face if you just want it to like sit and be like a nice wave comb downwards but today i'm gonna comb that way, I'm gonna see what it gives. Okay, so this is a little bit too curled for me right now. However, it is gonna drop exactly how I need to. You have to keep that in mind when curling your hair, that the hair drop. That's something I had to learn because I used to do these loose curls and then by the time I actually went out, my hair was giving nothing. It was giving a whole lot of nothing. So I'm gonna like tweak and fix the front to my liking because you guys, I told you, I've just been really weird about wigs lately. Like I love wigs, but like, I don't know if it's me or what. This color looks so yummy. So last step is defining the part. And I'm just gonna use my Fenty powder since it's like my actual skin tone. It's gonna define it, but it's not gonna be like weird and highlighted. Now why would I go all the way over there? Tasha, get it together, girl. I want to add more layers, but like I'm kind of scared. So I'm just going to give this a second to drop and get my life and pick out an outfit and I'll be back. Okay, so I finally got it together and there's been a change in plans, change in outfit, as you can see. Um, I was going to do like this fallish outfit, but like it was just so boring and I just wanted to like give the fly girl that I am. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a second. This is how the hair looks down. It's like set and everything. It looks really good. I do kind of want to do more layers, but like I'm kind of nervous because baby RPG show wigs are pricey and like I don't want to cut it wrong. Like other wigs, eh, I'm okay. This, I might take it to a professional because I, if I like this color, this I feel like is my signature color. Like the dimension, the Ah, love it so it's so funny how the perfume always matches the vibe of your outfit somehow some way notice how every time it's not planned i promise but today i'm wearing the new ysl libre i forgot it's called like platinum or something it kind of smells like the original but a little bit softer a little bit sweeter i can smell the orange blossom in here a lot more so i'm gonna wear this and i like wearing something like this at night because it just kind of lingers and it's a little oof it's a little bit stronger so for accessories it's very simple jbw watch um bottega dupe earrings from amazon i would wear like a cute dainty necklace but i don't have one in silver so like i would wear like a nice silver chain just to like balance it out but i think the earrings are a statement enough so like i can get away with it and show my decolleté is that even decolleté anyways time for the outfit so boots are from macy's they're like these shark boot dupe whatever the two-piece is from fashion nova it's like this denim it's like a stretchy denim though like i think it's like fake denim but it's like dark denim with white stitching and silver detailing the bag is dior vintage from my mom's closet thanks girl so yeah yeah this is the outfit you know very atlanta girl coated get into it get into it get into it that completes the get ready with me. I had so much fun doing it because I feel like I haven't done one in so long. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.